Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Sportless Play Xenonauts with me, your host, Tim. We left off. We destroyed the remnants of the downed alien battleship and captured the very first Praetor we met. Fizzy, fizzy hair Tom took one for the team. Actually, he just took one right in the chest. We weren't able to knock it out, but we were victorious. We're coming back with a prisoner, and we got quite a bit of money out of that mission. We have two carriers causing chaos on this side. In fact, based on where this one's going, we might be able to do something about it in Juggernaut. Let's see. Yeah, I think we I think we probably can handle the UFO 239. Let's go ahead and launch some interceptors to take take them out. 98%. I think these two will probably be able to do it. Let's get out there and get that done. We also crashed site 109. And let's think, what was in this one? Androns and Haridans in a tropical area. I can't reach it in time before it's dark. So I think we'll just airstrike. Ah, it's a carrier, though. I'd... Nah, we're just going to airstrike this one and just get rid of it. If we get this one over land, we'll uh, assault UFO 239. Okay, so what else were we doing? So there's nothing that's happening in base management. For our research, excellent on the mag weaponry. Good on the fusion reactor. Yeah, we'll probably finish the mag weaponry before the end of this month. And our workshops, still producing another Sentinel over here in Judgment. You can see us producing Praetors and Sentinel battlesuits over here in Chimera. In fact, we should probably get them onto people. What do we have an extra of? We have a... Oh, we have two extra suits of Sentinel armor and one suit of Praetor armor not yet assigned to people. So you deserve some Sentinel armor, Mace. Oh, Tim, but is someone wounded? No, no one here is wounded. And, well, we have a heavy weapons. I guess that means Imperial... Oh, you already have a Praetor suit, Imperialis. All right, we'll wait to see what happens when Judgment gets back. give you a sentinel armor as well, Philippe. That gives me an extra suit of buzzard, which I guess we can get onto Wolfenstein. I wonder if our predators can actually use sniper rifles, plasmas. Probably not. Actually, you know what? Why don't we quickly check that? No, they can't. Okay. Back to the buzzard then. Oh, we have an extra plasma rifle. How do we have one of them? Maybe someone was wound someone was so wounded. Oh it wasn't someone was wounded, someone's dead, Tim. <laughs> someone is dead. Okay. Uh, we have nothing else here except for the Praetor armor. We don't have another heavy weapons to give that to. No, we don't. So we can transfer that. Praetor armor to Juggernaut. That will be good. We'll get the pla... Mm, let's transfer the plasma rifle over to Gorgon. Begin getting them outfitted with the leftover plasma. I'm not going to hire a rifleman to replace Fizzy here at the moment. Yeah, I'm not going to do that at the moment. All right, let's advance some time. Oh, my, oh, darn it. He decided to go into into the south. We see you. We're going to get you. Oh, this is perfect. We'll get you over, over these waters. And we'll just all resolve this. Victory return to base. Helps our relationship with them even more. And hello, UFO 238. Are you coming over here? Let's Let's say hello to you with these guys. Also, I think Gorgon is going to retire Torp. Thank you, Torp, for all your hard work, but you're kind of really obsolete at the moment. Foxtrot decommissioned. When they're finished with the Sentinel Battlesuits over here, we'll begin making another Marauder. We definitely have the funds to do so. We have two Sentinel Battlesuits. We should get them onto people. Let's transfer these two suits over to... Oh, or the one suit. 
let's transfer it over to yeah let's transfer it to Gorgon oh holy crap we have a plus with carbon ready to go so let's equip oh we can't equip your default role you don't have any jack um sentinel armor but we can give you this at the moment eva and that will be all i'm going to give you because you can't carry anything else because wolf armor we can give our shield a med kit and that'll be it okay let's see if we can get this ufo we might lose it over the yep over the ocean we just head down here let's see if we can pick him up Wow, nope. We turned the base. We lost him. He he went up back up in this direction. Okay, well, we'll just have to wait for him to show up on our radar. And there he is. Okay, can we get him? He is just a carrier. We can probably get him with these two, in all honesty. Because we don't need a lot... We don't tend to take damage from carriers with two marauders. Let's tail him until he's, he's over land. Oh, holy crap! We get mag weaponry just as he's over land. As improving our plasma technology to the point where it surpassed, all the aliens would be virtually impossible. New ideas were needed. They arrived in the form of old ideas. Mag weapons are electromagnetic coil guns that combine the remarkable properties of alien materials with our existing knowledge of ballistic weapons. The idea behind a Gauss gun, coil gun, has been around for over a century, it consists of a series of electromagnetics firing sequentially, accelerating a projectile along the barrel of the weapon to deadly speeds. The parallels with alien plasma weapons should be obvious. While the plasma technology uses the electromagnetic acceleration as a means to an end, a coil gun uses it as a means in itself. The technology can be adapted from existing plasma weapon designs and has some significant advantage. IG, an energy projectile does mostly thermal damage and can be partially absorbed, reflected, dissipated by a number of factors, atmospheric conditions included. A spot of rain will not offer much protection against a metal pellet traveling at five times the speed of sound. Mag weapon prototypes have been built in pistol, shotgun, rifle, and precision arrangements, each one small enough to be carried by an infantryman, but still capable of delivering a pellet of alien alloy at hypersonic speed. They are almost certainly the most powerful terrestrial infantry weapons that will ever exist. Pushing muzzle velocity any higher would raise air resistance highly enough to explosively ignite the air behind the projectile, likely killing the soldier finding the weapon. It seems we are now limited by the composition of our atmosphere, rather than by our technology. Wow, that's amazing. And what do we want next? Hmm. I think we should research heavy mag weapons to further increase my aircraft's capability, because I see this here. Further evolution of our mag weapon designs producing both rapid-fire mag weapons that can be used by our infantry and aircraft and powerful mag rail guns that can be mounted on our vehicles or used to upgrade our base defense batteries. Done. So can we actually produce this stuff now, I wonder? Wow, we don't even have to research these. We can just immediately build pistols, carbines, rifles, and precisions. That's amazing. And we didn't have any... No, we have 15 engineers like this. Okay, so... We'll have to do that after we get more of our Marauders constructed. And we'll auto resolve this. There's still damage from the previous fight, but we were we were both behind the alien craft, and we tend not to be damaged with two Marauders against a carrier. Turn to base. And this location. What is this location? Sadly, the Reapers in industrial area. I'd like to do it, but I'd have to arrive from Juggernaut. It will take a full day, half a day. Let's do it. Let's do it with Doomsday. Let's do it with Doomsday. Of course, I have no intention to do it while it's nighttime outside, but I think we'll arrive there just as it's daylight, and if not, we'll just patrol. 18 engineers have arrived at Gorgon. Wonderful. Awesome. Let's get you guys to work immediately. Of course, we're just... Yeah, we're 
barely adjusting the time for this now. We actually, we could begin working on that Marauder now. Where is it? Go. And that would be good. All right, so let's advance some time. Our funds should really begin decreasing now that we're producing all sorts of things all over the place. I'm recording, right? Yes, I'm not muted. It's looking good. Let's save the game before we go in. This way, if anything bad happens, we don't have to at least make up for everything we've just done on screen. Let's also start and stop recording really quick. Okay, there we go. Just to make sure I save that off. Here we go. And it's daylight. Awesome. Yup. Let's do it. Get this done in one go. Another hour and 40 minute video. Uh, having to do these now in one in one go is a, it's fun, but the videos are going to be quite long. I thought about breaking them up and like stopping the recording, picking the recording back up to break it at a point where I'll remember I broke it. But ah, I, although I really kind of wanted to leave these videos under 45 minutes, I guess an hour and 40 is not too bad. Just a really long movie, basically. Yeah, these episodes are as long as a movie. My goodness, I've been, I've been producing lots of these too. All right. Oh, I love the sound effects. That's wonderful. Okay, we've got Seblians and Reapers here. We need to figure out where they're located. Let's get you into the air. Simon. Oh, there could be one upstairs. But I don't see any... I didn't see any Reapers around us at the moment. Let's crouch you and face you this way. Next. I wouldn't mind having someone else. Mr. Mustache. Can I get you into the air over here? Oh, we still don't see anything. Oh, and that's the edge of the map. Okay, then. Wow, there's a lot of people. That's a potential... That's a lot of Reapers if they come for those civilians. Let's set you down on this side. Jeffrey can join you over here. Actually, let's keep them a little separated. I will want to check inside this building to make sure a Reaper isn't inside the structure. Don't see one here. Then Flashman's gonna get up on the roof to be safe. Or one could open the door and charge out at us. Let's get you over here, Lucas. We'll crouch you. You know there was a person? I think we saw a person in there earlier. Some local forces. Twister. Hmm, not sure where to put you. Let's have you look in the window. We'll keep your shield out. The Kramer can back you up. I'll want some more support on this side that can leap over that wall to help. So Tara, let's have you run up here. up this way. My sniper also belongs on the roof. I'm not sure if... Mm, can I, I can stand you up, but I don't want to... Uh, there could be a, a reaper on up there. Lord, let's get you out here. Not 
much where to put my heavies. I like them firing outside the windows or behind here. If this door opens, one could just charge in here and get us. Strong oh, that was strong jaw. Crap, that, that's not the person I wanted up here. Well, it's too late now, sir. You're going to stay here and face that way. And my heavies, or my single heavy, Mr. Powell. I definitely don't want you biting it. Let's get you up here. All right, that'll do it for this turn. We're in position. Let's see what happens to us. All right, we knew that sort of thing was going to happen. We knew that sort of thing was going to happen. Oh, God, there's two of them, and they're killing... They're making everyone Reapers. I'm tempted just to run. This is a lot of zombies and Reapers on us right away. Okay, we can, we can handle this, but it's going to be really tricky. All right, let's leave Tara there at the moment to give me vision. Simon, can you check what's in, what's up in this? Nothing. All right, good. That's very good. I'm going to need my assaults all on this side to deal with these reapers. Man, it's going to be ugly. I can't hit it without hitting just about everything else. Let's get you upstairs. Strong jaw. How can I kill a non? Can I kill one of the Reaper Alphas? I don't think I can this round. No, we have too much garbage in the way. I don't have a good spot to place this. That would just get them angry. We could pull most people up to the roof. Can you actually fly up here? No, you can't because you have a shield, Swister. We could just drop the shield. Everyone gets on the roof and we, we plink away at all the Reapers. Everyone except for my heavy. Here <laughs> all the awesome sound effects. That is awesome. Well, we have a decent shot at them from here with Powell. We'll give it a try. All we did was make things tougher for us. Okay. Let's see. Actually, it may be a little easier now. If we can send a rocket down here. There's lots of stuff in the way. Let's try anyway. Nope, we just blew up some stuff in the way. That guy, I don't think he can reach you in one go, but it's going to be very close. Tara, can I land you and burst fire? And then take off again. I think I can. Get you out of there. 
Should we do the same with you? I think we might be able to, Mustache. Kind of weird using them like this, but also, I, th I think, efficient. Anderson, I want you waiting around to surprise them next round. You might come around this way, and I'd like you way far away if that's going to be the case. We don't have any normal grenades on you, Lucas. Let's pull you back a spot. We can try doing some reaction fire if they come down this way. Mr. Kramer, I'm gonna run you all the way up here. Swister, I need you up to look for Seblians. We haven't seen any. Oh God, we got an open door here. See that? That's really bad. There could be a Reaper now in this room. And we might have just lost Mr. Powell to it. We'll have to hope that's not going to be the case. Let's actually stare inside here and see if we can sucker it into getting you instead. Jeffrey, we're not moving you out yet. Flashbang. Let's fly here, hit the window, and then get out of the way. We'll have you go through that maybe next turn. Okay, that will do it. One extra Reaper down. That was all we did. Let's see what happens. Oh god. Oh no. Wow, I've never seen so many aliens right away. It's all the Reapers. I'm tempted to run. Okay. We can we can do this, but it's going to be really, really tricky. I'm so sorry, Swister. I really hoped you would last a lot longer than that. Flashbang can set down and kill the Alpha behind it. To get the oh, really game. <laughs> now we have Swister to deal with. Simon, can you land and pulse him? I think we can, and then we can fly you. A pulse is the best thing for us to do because it has a chance to kill the thing when it spawns. <laughs> nope, we can get you flying though you away from the creep of horribleness. I'll need it dead, so... Powell? Yeah, you're gonna have to go walk over here and kill it. Strong jaw, you can probably one-hit kill this guy. Pop one of the zombies. For this zombie and its friend, Tara can pulse them. And then single fire. And then... 
the Reaper. What am I doing here? I can set down, kill the Reaper, and then I might even have enough to get away with Jeffrey. Okay. Seblian. We knew he was around. We're gonna have to deal with him. to do. Mustache, if we land... Oh! You know, I really don't want to pop that right now. Instead, I'm going to do something really dumb. We are going to try to capture a Reaper. Yup. So I'm not going to let that... I'm not going to pop the zombie. We're going to wait for it. gonna come down here at you, Lara. Luke, I want you here and facing this way. We'll have to hope you don't bite it. Oh, we, we killed that one. We killed it. Okay. Alright, that's everyone. No, no, no! Oh, okay, good. Good, good, good. Good. Nice hit. Good hit. Okay, this is this is gonna work out for us. We're, we're gonna capture that Reaper. We're totally gonna do it. I wonder if it has, like, a counterattack. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Okay. Alright. Let's, let's do this. Can you get behind it and shoot? You could, but then I can't get you away. I'd rather... I don't really have a good place to move and fire. We can make a normal shot from here. If we see another... Another alien... Oh, hello! Inside... Crap. That's enough for a snapshot. We'd have to kill it with this. Let's do it. <laughs> then the other one, we can use Powell to turn and gun it down. It's one of their leaders, so we'll need a lot of bullets to kill it. He's now out of ammo. Now for this one. Let's do it, Mr. Mustache. I'm gonna set you right here. Yep. Okay. Holy crap. We'll, we won't need this anymore. There's nothing I need to capture. Okay. That was, what, two Seblians down? Three Seblians down. Three Reapers down. Reaper Alphas. There's still another Reaper Alpha out there somewhere. Oh God! That's AOE. What we'll the hope the fire makes you a difficult target? Let's also get you away from the wall. I'd love to be able to ambush him, but there's nowhere for me to go. I can try getting up here. I'll we'll have to hope. 
hope that he doesn't see you or have the angle to get you up there. Tara? Let's begin moving you up. Creamer. He might have seen you, Tim. I could sit down here then. Oh no. Okay. You're, you're not safe up there, sir. Let's get you back down here. Laura. Let's get you up. Here. Okay, that'll be good. Okay, we have to reload with Howell. A uh, Howard first. He still doesn't have the fire, so let's see if we can get vision on them. We know there's one over here somewhere. There he is. Thomas could run right up here and gun him down through the window. Let's do that. That's fine. Oh, not enough to shut the door. But you don't see the alien, and I don't think it will see you. He was... Where, there or upstairs? I think he was upstairs. Get up there. I'm a little worried moving you up like that. He'll see you and know you landed down here and be ready for you. But I, I would like to kill that guy. He's very dangerous. He has vision out the windows to our approach. Flashman, let's check downstairs. It's still nothing. That's probably not a good spot to move him, Tim. Alright, now get him back upstairs again. We'll head over there next turn and fly on the roof. Possibly. Strongjaw. Let's get you... Moving up as well. Howard, you have reloaded. That guy's in a spot where we can't hit him. So let's get you up here. Laura. Are you up in your face this way? Mr. Mustache can get your weapon back now, and let's get you moved up. I can't believe we have a captured Reaper. I don't know where to move my other... Melee or Tara. I don't want to leave her up here. A reaction fire shot is not going to kill a Seblian. And that cannon, if it hits the thing she's hiding behind for cover, it will still hurt her. There's no good spot to move her. Or Jeffrey. Let's run Jeffrey up. I think it was upstairs. We'll stay here with you. 
he'd have to, if he was in the corner here, he'd have to run up and then fire on us. Which he can do, Tara. Maybe it's for the best I don't leave you there. Okay, that's better. That's everyone who I'm... Oh, almost everyone. I don't feel like leaving you out in the middle of, of the air there. Let's get you back downstairs. I'm actually going to pull you back a little bit, Simon, so this way you're not as exposed. Okay, let's see what happens to us. Don't do that. Please. Oh, don't you do that either. <laughs> okay. Didn't see anything. Flashbang Ninja, let's see if the roof is clear. No doors are open. Oh, no, there's a door open here. But I think that was the one sibling that ran upstairs. Nothing can get up here, Tim. So you're pro you're probably safe staying here. Let's see if we can't detect where that alien is. Upstairs. Velma, can we get you close by? We can. Okay, he's still in the same exact spot. Jeffrey can easily move in and, oh, hopefully get him. We can take a snapshot. We can take two snapshots. I've never seen... I've never seen one of these guys... I've never seen one of these guys... Take a reaction shot. So we're gonna go with they still won't. Oh, you opened the door? I didn't want you to do that at all. Okay, we can still do this. for us. Nothing. Awesome. You're going to hold a desk job at the moment. Lara, let's get you moved up a bit. Bring that rocket to bear on the entrance of the UFO. Where's my sniper? Ooh, what is that sound, I wonder? Yep. Oh, wow! That's another big gun you've got there, mister. I don't feel like leaving my people exposed. You can just sit there instead. Belmont, you can get back down here. We needed you for that vision. That's all I needed you for at the moment. Now you can be moved up. Face up this way. We know that that guy's coming from over there. And then, Mr. Mustache. Let's keep you behind enough cover that you can't possibly be detected. I think that's a, I think that's a, a car alarm going off somewhere else. I like the wind sound, too, or the distant cars that, that I hear going. That's, the ambience mod here is really super nice. I really like it. Plus, it encourages you to play this more like a roguelike. Okay, that's good. Oh, I thought you were gonna pick up the enemy weapon. Why are you running toward the UFO? I guess I guess they're reporters. They really want to watch what's what's gonna happen. Okay, let's see where they are with flashbang. Okay, they're still standing right there. It just occurs to me that there is no door there. I'd have to move you up a little. I don't think you have a shot because the vehicle's going to be main in the way. 
If I move you here, you'd have a shot. But the wall might be blocking. The car is also blocking from there, okay? How about from here? Okay, we can totally shoot him from there. Let's also move you down a speck, Aura. We could try a rocket first. We won't get many attempts that use, to use the rocket now that we're this far in, so let's make the attempt. Nope, hit the edge of the UFO. But the good news is that we provided some smoke for us. As much as I'd like to use my sniper for this, we're going to use Mr. Powell instead, because a single sniper shot won't kill a Sevlian. Oh, can we not land on the roof? We can't land on this roof! Okay, that's really awkward. Really? Guess you can't land on on three-story roofs. Okay. Let's... Oh. I know there's doors, yeah, on the side. I'm a little leery of moving at you guys up here, but I do need you moved up. have enough to use to get away, strong jaw. I'm gonna move you in. This'll be fine. Let's hold on your TUs for a reaction shot, because they can't regenerate that. Then flashbang. We can't we can get you up there, but it does be no good. Let's move you up in this direction. Just outside of the UFO door. Mr. Belmont, can move you up a little bit. How we can stand you and we can begin advancing. No reason why we can't do that. Tara. Let's get you outside, and that will be fine. Let's do a reaction fire. Lucas, we're gonna have you move up a lot. going to be leading the charge into the actual UFO. This dash will move you up as well. well I'm not going to bother crouching you. Who hasn't gone yet? Mr. Parker. Oh, Kramer. That's right. My two ass assaults. Get you behind the phone booth. Recover. That's right, everyone. That's a phone booth. If you, if, you might not actually know what that is. We had these little buildings that had telephones in them before we had the phones we have these days. Yep. Still used to happen. Used to be commercials for which number to dial. If you needed help, or like if you need to find someone's number and stuff like that. Yep. A long time ago. This should be okay. Alright, that's good. Let's see what happens. Face. Yep. Too too close for the reporters. <laughs> too close for them. The news will have to wait. Can we get you around the corner? I don't think he has any TUs left. Let's take the killing shot with Jeffrey. Lucas, let's get you inside. Yep, looking at the doors, because I want to know if anything opens up those doors. Okay, so... Strongjaw, I think I want to keep you here. Because you have a good vision on those doors if anything decides to open up on us. Flashbang will get a little closer and watch this door and see if it opens. There could be... Uh, we still can't quite see it. I'll risk moving up a little more. We can at least hopefully detect that that door opens from there. 
Mr. Kramer. I will move you in. We'll see if that door opens. Tara can go here for some reaction fire. Mr. Mustache. Back up. My main assault. Simon, you're gonna back up our shield. Powell will just march up. Uh, careful of the AoE, Tim. The cannon that already there will still do me in, but there's nothing close by. Lara? That was dumb, because we're not going to be using the rocket. Let's have you go grab Swister's stuff, since she's not with us anymore. And Strong Joe, I want you holding on to your TUs to fire on those doors. Let's see what happens. I heard a normal door open, which makes me a little nervous, but I'll hope it was the people back here running around. Okay, Laura, we're not going to need this. Maybe one of the civvies can grab that instead. We're not going to need a normal rocket either. We're just going to be grabbing Swister's stuff. So nothing here opened. We have an open door, but there's no enemies. Let's move up a little more. Okay, nothing. Let's move up and take some better defensive positions. Let's move you here, Jeffrey. I'd rather have you at the door, but that's not going to happen use whatever they're transporting. So I guess this is where their alloys or batteries are located or something. I will move up as well. Actually, I want you having enough to fire. Actually, no, I don't, because then you'll just kill us. Strong jaw. Bring you up, Mr. Kramer. I'd hate to... Oh, well, we should be safe here. If there is an alien on the other side of this, they can't even reach us due to how this ship landed. Wow, actually, Tara, we can't even open... I would have to get you so close to the door and next turn fly you to open it. That would be good. Over here, flashbang, we can move you up. Let's actually get you here. And... That, I think, is good. Let's see what happens. More normal doors opening. Really nervous about that. Ah, Swister, you looked a lot better before. Looked a lot better before. Alright, we grab this stuff. We don't need the smoke grenades for this battle. We're gonna take it. all the things... And then get you running back to join us. Okay. Meanwhile. I should have just dropped the shield and had you float, Swister. Should have done that. But I actually thought it was a Seblian. I didn't think we were going to get another one of them. A another Reaper right so close at the very, very beginning. Right, nothing here. Let's do the standard in the corner with this thing providing some cover and crouch you. I'm not going to move anyone else in because I want around staring to see what's going to happen to us. Actually, we could move Anderson in. If we move him here, no, a shot from there can do us all in. Strong. 
on the draw. All right, let's shut the door with <laughs> Mr. Anderson. We're not going in this turn. Kramer. Shut the door behind her. I think that's everyone. That's everyone. Let's see what if anything comes down the teleporter. No. Okay. We heard some doors open, but nothing else. Let's get you inside then, strong jaw. You'll hold enough for an aim shot. I would like that far door opened and checked. I don't think we can do it this round. Alternatively, I go upstairs and check. Let's go upstairs. Oh god. It's a reaper. It saw us. We're as good as dead. We're as good as dead. We're as good as dead. We lost Lucas. It's really close to teleporters. The best thing we can do is get out of that room, and when it shows up, avenge Lucas. Which is what we're going to do. Which is what we're going to do, because we're we've totally lost him. I am so very glad now. I checked upstairs first. That would have been a whole dead squad if I decided to move them up at all. Alright, let's watch them die. Okay, well we knew we knew we were losing them when we saw that Reaper show up. Can we pelt the Reaper? We can. We didn't kill it. Mustache, can we move you up in here? I need you to gun down the zombie. We, oh, you don't have enough to use for that. have to hope there's nothing inside the door. That and that was the fourth Reaper Alpha, so we're not going to get any more Reapers, at least. Spark. I don't know where to put any of you. Let's get you up here, Mr. Powell. Check what's behind it uh, in their anti grav room next turn. We're down both our shields. That sucks. Okay, that's good. Let's. Oh, no, it's not, Laura. And Strong Jaws going to take over Shield Job. Uh, shield Job? Shield Job! He'll be doing Shield Job now. Okay, if there was anything inside that room, it would have come out by now. I'm pretty sure. Oh, miss, that's... You're Mr. Mustache. Alright, that'll be good. We'll crouch you for some more cover. We should still check, just to be safe. Nothing. Okay, good. Simon, let's get you upstairs. And then we're running up here with you, Strong Jaw. And we do not need you to have this anymore. Get 
Vulture's next turn. Flashbang. Let's just get you upstairs at the moment. And then same thing with Kramer. See some TUs. And then I guess Anderson, let's get you ready to go upstairs next turn. Same thing with Mr. Powell. Tara, same thing with you. There could be another alien outside that's working toward us. I'll have to hope there isn't. All right, let's end our turn. Two doors opening upstairs. Or, alternatively, this one opened and the alien's about to walk into this area. These two didn't. We heard two doors. All right, let's move up a little more. Good, Simon. Mustache. Let's take a peek. Okay, good. No hostiles. We can run both of our assaults we have up here into some positions so they can spring out and maybe get one of them, but they show up from a teleporter. And then we can bring everyone else upstairs. So, Jeffrey. Mr. Powell. I did want that rocket launcher after all. We're gonna make, we might have needed it for the upstairs room. So we're just gonna have one single heavy weapon and a bunch of carbines. We haven't killed as many Seblians as I would have liked to by now. Strong draw. Let's get you running up here. All right, that's good. Let's see if anything comes down these teleporters. Not yet. Let's also reload with you before I forget. Simon. We're going to reload with everyone. Well, yeah, we should. Because it's going to get really ugly up there. We're going to have to use it. everyone firing at everything to do this. Like, we're going to need lots of pulse fire. This also gives me an excuse to have Laura catch up with us. Checking. Move you two up a little more. And then we can hop Anderson in. You know what? We can let's move our shield in instead, like this. Flashbang. Where it comes, Kramer, I want you guys moving. I don't think so. We'll move Mr. Powell up and he'll crouch and provide some cover, staring at that entrance. Tara, move up here. We're going to shut this door. And that will be good. Okay. New shields, up you go. Jeffrey, and Flashbang to your positions on the other side of the teleporters, ready to hopefully reaction fire anything that comes down them. Mr. Kramer will move you up a bit, but not all the way. Which we could have moved him up here, and he could still fire, but I don't know where the aliens are coming from. Tara will move you here. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight. I'm just gonna soldier you up, Powell. I think 
don't want you firing. Just do a squat. Okay. That will have to do. Here we go. Oh, thank God we didn't lose anyone. Okay. Strong jaw. Up you go. Okay. Those are the two doors that are opening. We know they're totally there. And this time, the... Whatever this is... I forget what this is called. Is not blown up. So we need to be really careful here. How can I do this? And live? Strongjaw can dash up and pivot himself. I'm so used to be, you're being smoke everywhere. I could actually move my shields up here like this. Get you both a little closer. I want Powell upstairs now. So we're going to want him firing. Probably next turn. Let's get him close like this. Jeffrey? I know they're opening both doors. If we can get him a little closer, we can run we can move his shields up to open the door, and then my assaults can kill something on the other side of it. careful of grenades. They can really, really hurt here. Especially because we're not ready to take up more aggressive positions. Okay. Here we go. Okay, well, we knew we knew there'd be enemies. We knew they'd be up there. Looks like they were just checking to see where we were. If we're going to do this, Tim, you need to do it now. And you want to do this with at least one group of them. We might end up firing instead of going in there. Okay. Oh, and I hope the game doesn't crash. I've done this entire video. In fact, let's let's just do a quick stop and start. Okay, that's perfect. Here we go. This way, this way the game crashes. I at least got this much. Okay, I, I'm not saving the game whatsoever. I can't afford to risk it. Here we go. There's at least five of them in here. In here. Nice work. One down. There were six. Okay, we're not going to kill that one this round. Instead, Powell's going to flood the area with fire. Nice. And they're all suppressed. Can we get in there? Uh, it's not worth the risk this turn, Tim. Oh god! I think that destroyed the door. It did not destroy the door. Okay, good. All right, we can get more people upstairs now. More people upstairs now. Mustache. The problem is that we're, we are very close together. I'll probably be doing the same thing next turn. We didn't kill any of them, obviously. But they're probably all... Oh, well, on that side, they're suppressed. One of them might decide to, to equip a grenade, but none of them are coming outside. Not this turn. Okay, let's see what happens to us. 
Alright, they just did some moving around. Let's try to get in there with a bunch of people. Tara's got a hundred TUs, so she can get this door open for us. They're all still suppressed. They decided not to move whatsoever. That is fantastic. Strong jaws get you out of the way. To here. Well then. Oh, I should have opened the door with him. We can open the door with Kramer? No, we can't. We can move you up, Powell, and then... Nope, still can't do it. Actually, keeping you here is fine. Because you can just fire into all of them. Okay, one's down, two are suppressed. We can totally kill those two suppressed ones. I can dash up there and do it. How can I get these dead? Can I get enough people up there? I don't think I can. The door is still closed here, I think. Hard to tell. It might not be. It's not, okay. Let's do this. Simon? Oh god, we don't have any- you can't- you cannot do it. We just fired at it, and that was it. Flashbang. The suppressed one with, with the- with the rifle probably can't fire it this round. Probably. That's not enough for a snapshot, and he'd have cover from any, any other location. We can't get anyone else that far up there to guarantee we can kill this one. I can definitely kill the crouched one. Oh, did I hurt him? I think I did. I have to take the shot from here if I really want to be safe. We can we can shoot him from here, and that would give me enough to turn around and step back. Let's do it. Good. I think he'll be safe there. Simon, let's get you out of the way of the door. Strongjaw will move you up a little. Kramer will shut the door. <laughs> Didn't even occur to me it might throw a grenade point blank like that. I'm so sorry, Laura. That stinks. Alright, let's get a kill on someone else then. She was a great rocketeer too. Belmont, you can't make a you can't make a burst shot from there. You can make a snapshot. We might as well give, make an attempt to hurt him. Nice shot. Who's going for the kill? Can we get you in here, sir? We can. Actually, I don't think Tara killed anything. Wow! Oh, three deaths. Three deaths. That is really unacceptable. Two sergeants and a lieutenant. Good God! A rocketeer and both shields down. Successful mission, though. Good work, guys. Thirty-one alloys, twenty-one alium, one hundred forty-eight thousand. Hmm. Maybe I should have fled. That's a lot of personnel to replace. We got a. Major and a colonel, too. Okay, all right. That's gonna... It is what it is. It is what it is. Reaper analysis. We captured one. Okay. So, 
that will do it for us, everyone. Thank you guys for watching. When we come back, we will be... Oh, we're we'll probably getting another alien wave just at the end of the month. That's going to be tough if that's the case. I'll need to move people around and we'll just hire a bunch of privates at the beginning of next month to make up for who we've lost. Unless, is there anyone who's a good shield that we can have right now over here? So we need... If you're just looking for shields, Tim, then the only thing that matters really is hit points and TUs. Uh, these two are the only... Well, these three have them in the 50s. These two have 48 and 49 TUs. That's terrible. All of their accuracy is low. We don't really care about accuracy for them that much. But that's... That really stinks. I don't have anyone that I'm looking to hire. No, I don't see anyone I'm willing to hire. Not this month. Oh, hold on. I see 35s here. There shouldn't have been 35s. Okay, well, we'll, have to, we'll wait for next month. Remember that I've modded the game so that the minimum stat should be 43, I think, or 42 should be the min stat now. Okay, well, well, we'll wait till next month, and if we get a bunch of 35s, we'll deal with it then. All right, everyone, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.